Hey everybody, it's the coach. This is Madden 20 on EA Sports. Ahead, we'll see the runner-up and rookie of the year balloting Baker Mayfield and the Cleveland Browns as they match up with the Red Rifle, Andy Dalton, and the Cincinnati Bengals. I'll be back with you again with scores around the league at halftime. But kickoff right around the corner. And standing by to call the action, here are Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. On a chilly December afternoon, EA Sports coverage of the NFL brings us to Paul Brown Stadium in Cincinnati, Ohio. The enthusiasm of this Cincinnati crowd in full effect a moment ago as their Bengals took the field to the delight of this sold-out crowd. And they're all set as they'll match up with the Cleveland Browns. Hi again, everyone. I'm Brandon Gunn. To my left, Charles Davis. And Charles, you focus on this Bengal team entering play. They were winners last time out, so they'll be looking, Charles, to make it two in a row. And what I enjoyed when I watched their game tape and their victory last week is they put it together in every phase. Good offense, good defense, and some key plays on special teams. Let's see if they can get that second win in a row. Meanwhile, for the Browns here, they're hitting their stride of late. Winners of three of their last four. And if you look back to last week, it was all about their defense. Anytime you hold an NFL team to single digits, that's saying seven-yard line. Andy Dalton set to lead out this Bengals offense at the controls for the ninth year. The man out of TCU. This is Joe Mixon, fourth in the NFL in rushing last season. Need to get him going, runs like that. Now. And they talked to us about leaning on him because, as you noted, last week they didn't have to. Still won the ball game. They leaned on other people to give them the yardage that they needed, but they really won. Hands on it, couldn't get it. And it's second down. Here now the offense for the Bengals. While well, the Bengals struggled in 2018, NFL. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and 10. On the ground, this is Williams. And he'll get it down. to hold him under 20, because to me, that's the magic number. 20-point score. Get under heavy pressure, and down goes Dalton on the sack. Larry Ogunjobi, he's the one to get him. About how far you let your guy go, because he might wander into some tough coverage. He's going to fire one deep, middle of the field. And that will be incomplete. Take the big shot right out of the gate. At worst, you'll open up the defense a little bit, loosen them up, have them back on their heels. Offs play out anything like the regular season has gone. Could be in for a wild and fun month of January. And we can break the rules because we can look ahead. All right, there's not a coach out there that's ever said to their team, all right, let's look three, three weeks down the road. It's always right here, right now. Forget that back's locked in like he is. I want him to keep touching the football. On second and in inches, Mayfield. This is caught, and he'll be out of bounds. That Let's one, go, a gain of Let's 20 in a first down. Probably well, I mean to jump in on Successful plays in plus territory. Now this defense on its heels a bit. It seems like they had something. And this is going to be intercepted. Picked up by Jesse Bates. Defenders giving chase, but I don't think they're going to get there. He's at the 30. And he'll take this into the end zone. Now, hold on here. We do have a flag down. So let's see what this is about. So they obviously decline that, and it is a touchdown. They still had the option, but let's face it. There's no option. There's no option when you score a touchdown. On second and nine, Mayfield. He's got Njoku over the middle. And the ball is knocked out, and the Bengals grab it. And his guys will take over at their own third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. Out of the gun, it's still. And the Browns pressure gets to him that time, and he's going to go down. Miles Garrett in there to drop him for his 11th sack of the year. Hippocratic oath, first do no harm. And right now they're harming themselves on offense. I like that. No one is mistaking me for a doctor, though. But thank you, Dr. Davis. And they're able to get this one across the 35. Successful start. On third down, Mayfield. And he's got his man. That's Landry. And oh, he coughed it up. And the Bengals grab it. No, 
Very manageable second down. A very solid gain on that play. And here's a throw taken in by Boyd. Pass that we used to play on right and chew it up. Now we've got that artificial surface. You see the pellets go up. Still a nice play by the defense. After one, seven nothing on EA Sports. Ready for the second quarter from Cincinnati. It's the Bengals with the football here as they've got it with it from his corner spot. And now to the air, Dalton. Under pressure, and he'll go down back at the 26-yard line. Miles Garrett racking up sack number 12 for him on the year. Great, great job defensively. No way to go with the football. That led to the sack. Now a third down throw, but it misses. You see. Yeah, I think you've got to let him play, and the officials are instructed. If there's contact coming from both sides, no flag. Let them fight it out. And forces fourth down. I also didn't think I'm going to be correct, but I would like to see them open things up, because otherwise this defense is just going to gang up on the run and shut them down. And now four of on the season. That is... They'll try to throw here. Mayfield. That is caught by the former Gator, Antonio Callaway. To throw, Mayfield. That's to the right side and complete to Najoku. And he's got another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Bengals. Bets. And reading your keys, you always hear about that, and have your eyes in the right place. Sometimes your eyes can fool you. How about that? And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Cleveland. Odell Beckham, his sixth touchdown of the season. Is the 25-yard line. Here we go with a player spotlight, and we shine that spotlight on Andy Dalton. And I guess the question, Charles, is what's the formula for keeping him better protected, because as we see, the protection, it's struggled. And normally what you get is renewed determination. Well, nobody case so far in this game, so maybe they've got to figure out how do they get rid of the ball faster to help out the offensive line so he doesn't get hit as much. And we'll see if they can keep him off the ground now going forward. And they get him down, but not before he all the stats and scores from games in progress around the NFL. The best multitasker in the business, the coach. Now a nice throw here right side. He hauls it in. And they're going to have another first down as he's going to be tackled. Won't be number two for long. Well, that's what often happens when you have competitors running around the field. These guys know where they stand in relationship to yardage, totals, numbers, the whole deal. And that'll make it second and goal. Oh, that's a tough one right there. He ran right into the teeth of the blitz as the linebacker was freed up. Under pressure, down he goes. Sacked at the 10. Sheldon Richardson in there to get him, and that is sacked to throw here, Dalton. And he's got his big tight end, Eifert, and it's a Bengal touchdown. Tyler Eifert, his third touchdown now on the year. And the Bengals, they widen their lead. Time here in week 17, as we send you down to Orlando, where Jonathan Coachman has our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. All right, Brandon, thank you as always. Welcome into our final regular season edition of our Halftime Report. He's up over 80%. I don't know how you slow him down. Pass rush is usually the best way, because a quarterback on his back usually can't complete a pass. They stop him for only three that time, and that'll bring up fourth down to throw again. Dalton. And he's taken down. This will be a Brown sack. Miles Garrett. He's the culprit. And that is now his 13th sack of the season. Off the play fake to Mixon. This is Dalton. And the throw there going to be incomplete. The defender was making sure his guy couldn't hold on to the foot. Rush comes and they block it. And he'll score. Touchdown, Browns. In for the score. As they are now just an extra point away from making this. They stay on the ground. Again, it's Morris. He's got the first down and more past midfield. That one good for a first down pickup of 18 yards. They're trying to show Stop him. So a first and 10 upcoming from Brown's territory now at the 40. And he's going to be hit and taken down. Back right around the 48-yard line. Miles get tougher from here. 
Dalton bootlegs out. Sliding out of the puck. Oh, the pressure too great, and he goes down once more. Miles Garrett, what a season he continues to have. His 15th sack of the camp. Give the lessons of history or doomed to repeat them. That's the same guy who's gotten back-to-back -back sacks. I think it's under pressure again, and down he goes again. Miles Garrett, he continues to wreak havoc in the offensive backfield. Sack number 16. About playing with guys who knew how to rush the passer. They would just tell you, just cover people for me. Just long enough for me to get there. Now a hit and a loose football. And the Bengals grab it. And this is taken into the end zone. A fumble recovery and a Cincinnati touchdown. And this is what coaches talk about. Never being satisfied. No matter what the lead, always try. Version as they come up on third down. Working out of the gun. Mayfield. Here's Higgins out of the right side. And he's going to have the first down at about the 38. They get nine out of that one. And they'll throw again. Here's Mayfield. Blitz coming, and down he goes. Credit the sack to the safety, Jesse Bates. So if we recount real quick, he had the touchdown earlier because you're headed towards the ball carrier with the band -aid. Mayfield looks to throw. He's got his tight end, David Njoku. And he's got another first down. The receiver before any defender can step up and fill it. They did it well there. Perfectly executed crossing route. Mayfield able to get this one to his tight end, Njoku. And I think the ball's out. And the Bengals have... One quarter remains here as the regular season starts to wind down. And that'll do it for the end of the second quarter. This is the NFL, and it's on EA. To make it difficult for them to move the ball. Made it very difficult right there. Now they need to repeat that effort. Yeah, bring seven, eight, nine, whatever it's going to take to slow him down. And they're going to have another first down as he's going to be tackled at the Browns' 41-yard line. Charles, you said the magic number was from forward, and they want to put the onus on the big fellas up front in order to bring this one home. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back, complete. And he picks up the first before he's started. Seven of seven. It's first and ten. Throwing. Dalton. Under pressure and down he goes. They sack him back at the 36. Larry. But if they don't know the art of positioning, sometimes it's all or not. In this case, in the right spot. Of course, the incompletion. Yeah, but had his hands on it for a second. Would have been a tough catch, though. Falls incomplete. Who am I to say this, but I'm not sure he made the right decision. Well, the window of opportunity is always going to be small in the NFL. That's why those quarterbacks who make quick decisions and have quick releases. In two after that last catch, good for eight yards. Here's Mayfield. On the catch, it's Duke Johnson. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the feed to have big games for the year. I agree totally. That's, that's a great analogy, great way to put it, because he doesn't get too greedy where everything has to be pushed downfield, trying to create big plays that aren't there. You dump it off and take that nice gain. He knows what hit him, but now they got to get ready. It's first and goal. Now Mayfield. And he's going to be taken down, sacked back around the 18-yard line. Geno Atkins, what a season he continues to have. His 15th sack of the wind, getting a big sack. Another try after the first down sack. Mayfield, and he's going to go down again. Geno Atkins, he continues to wreak havoc in the offensive backfield. Sack number. Fourth down, Mayfield. And that is it. Complete. They can't hook up here on the fourth down pass attempt. And the Bengals will get the foot. Oh. Mayfield on first down. This will be caught inside the 10. And he gets it all the way. Make sure you get up there and make them eat up some time. Make it a little bit of resistance so they can. Pressure comes and down goes Baker. In there to drop him as that clock continues to run. Throwing Mayfield. And it's caught. He's got it for a late touchdown. But probably a little too late. It would take a miracle of epic proportions if they're going to pull this one off. Okay, gets it at it. So this one in the win column now for the Cincinnati Bengals. And it wasn't really always pretty. They had their bumps and bruises. Really, both sides did. But they did what they needed to do at home to get the win. Yeah, they really had to grind this one out, didn't they? Because nothing came easy. 
Every snap was a major league brawl. They had to win at the line of scrimmage, win downfield. They got all those things accomplished. But to win a close one like this, you know, every team wants to be physical. We've heard that a million times, right? But those who are mentally tough, those are the teams that you have to deal with in the playoffs.